Hey guys, I got a Python open source question from uh, Ruben on YouTube a while ago. Just wanted to cover it in this video. So Ruben says, quick question. What if I plan on selling my desktop GUI? Should I worry about creating more competition for myself if I put the code on GitHub? So this is a question about open sourcing a commercial project, I assume, and uh, whether or not that's a good idea. So my thoughts are, Ruben, I will be very careful uh, I would be very careful with that. Um, it sounds like you're actually selling the product and you're not selling um, support contracts, right? Like, for example, this is the business model, I guess, um, that people made work with with Linux, where, well, the kernel and, and everything is, is available for free, essentially. But companies and, and consumers are, in some cases, paying... Um, paying distributions money to get the support. Um, you know, this is how Red Hat works and how how people have been able to build successful business models in the open source world. So I'm not saying this is impossible, but it's also a completely different game. So if you're selling this app right now, let's say on your website, you know, it's a digital download, people pay you um, a one-time payment, they can download the application and then just use it on their computer because you said it's a GUI app. So I'm assuming this is for download. This is not a, a SaaS application or software as a service application. Um, this could, you know, you could quite possibly create a competitor for your own application for yourself. And I don't really see, um, based on the information you gave and the context that you gave, I don't really see the benefit of open sourcing this application. You know, it, it makes sense to open source it if you want to use it as a portfolio item of sorts. Um, if, I mean, you wrote the app, you know, I'm not sure if it's if having the, the source out there is, is so important. You know, it still could be an impressive project. So I'm not sure if that's a valid um, valid argument for open, open sourcing it. Um, you are hoping to get uh, contributors from the community. You, you know, maybe you're hoping that people are, are going to be submitting patches and maybe making improvements to the app and you can continue to sell it. Um, that would be a more valid reason, but how, how likely is that, right? Um, how, how likely is someone else to con contribute to, um, to a commercial product um, and essentially for free? Um, I'm, I'm not sure if the, if the right incentive is there. Sure, it could you know could be possible again if it's more like a support, um, support kind of situation where you're selling out um, the support or selling the support and not the actual product, then um, this could work better. But again, like I feel like it's not you know based on what you said, it's probably not like a valid reason to open source this um, as well. Now another reason could be that you just want this to be open source because you believe in what what that stands for. And, and I can very much relate to that. You know, I have a couple of open source projects and I don't get paid anything for them. Um, I maintain them for free. It creates a lot of work, you know, reviewing stuff, giving people feedback on their code. People get angry if um, if I let their pull requests sit there for too long. And, and it, you know, it's, it also creates work, but, you know, I, I really... I benefited from open source, so I believe in giving back to the community. And you know, other ways would be to donate money, but um, I'd rather code some stuff and then just just give that away. So, so I can very much relate uh, to that kind of thinking. But on the other hand, if you if you're building, you know, if you're building your business around this stuff, I mean, I'm, you know, I give all, actually I give away most of my teaching material. I give away for free here on YouTube and on my website. And, um, you know, on social media and all these other outlets, like I create a ton of free content that I just give away. But there is some stuff that is closed source in that sense, right? Where it is, uh, it is paid training and it is um, more in-depth stuff. And it is things like, things like my book um, or, you know, the managing dependencies course and, and products like that. I don't open source them. I don't give them away for free because I, you know, that's how I feed my family. I want to make some money. I want to, you know, this is what keeps the business alive. I'm trying to give away as much as I can because I want to, you know, just make the Python community better, but I also got to make a living somehow. So, I feel like this is really similar to to uh, this situation here where you got to decide, you know, which parts 
where does it make sense to give these things away for free or open source them? And where, um, where do you want to keep them closed source? Because you're going to invite competitors. And um, in this case, you know, based on what you said, I would probably be careful about open sourcing it because I don't see a huge upside to it. Um, and I only see a downside. If this is like a one-off uh, digital purchase product that you're selling right now, I don't really see the upside of open sourcing it. Now, if you're selling support contracts, that could all change. You know, I'm not saying there's not a business model where this would make sense, but based on, on the context that I, that I think that is implied here, I would probably not do it. I would maybe do it long-term if you stop maintaining the application or you know, the, it's, it's, uh, it's outdated and you're, you stopped selling the product. At that point, it would be sort of a nice gesture to open source it so that, that um, it can continue to, uh, to, to exist in the future and other people can maintain it if they want it. I mean, okay, so I just thought of one reason, like a, a valid reason, if, if you open sourced it, um, uh, and the reason would be that you can say, you know, when you're selling your app, you can say, hey, you will always, if let's imagine this is some kind of backup tool. Like I'd be really concerned about not having the ability to access my data at a later point in time. And if if the author says, you know, if you say, well, this is open source, you can, then I would feel more comfortable being able just to pull the source and make changes, you know, and make sure that I can get this to work again in the future or hire someone to do it um, if if you ever stop maintaining it. So th this could be like a small reason to like de risk it for your customers but um you know you could also offer um you know you could offer people to pay extra and then buy the source code that way and again that might also invite competitors and stuff but you know i would probably not open source it at this point because it's very hard to take back once it's open source it's going to get forked it's going to get copied you'll never be able to to make it closed source again it, it'll just be out there so, so yeah probably would be like i would be a little bit careful with that in your shoes we'll probably not do it for now all right i hope this advice was helpful uh let me know how you decide what you're going to do and um best of luck with your app uh yeah so if anybody else has a question if you have a question that you would like to get answered in a future video then just leave a comment below uh, I'll try and do as many videos as I can here and, and just you know, give out free advice, answer, answer these questions because I really enjoy it. And it's been, it's been really cool interacting with, uh, you know, with everyone in the community and, and getting feedback and, and just getting better at doing these videos. Like, actually, I feel like I, I really enjoy, you know, uh, doing these videos and uh, just getting better at talking into the camera over time. At least I hope I'm getting better anyway. So click the like and subscribe button and stay tuned for our next video. Happy Pythoning.